What's up everyone, Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com. I'm here with Kimberly Martin and Ariel Lopez. We're here at the 2018 MPC North American Championships. Ladies, you're both from the giant state of Delaware, correct? Yeah. <laughs> and you're here at Gary Udit's big event. Talk to us about why you chose to compete here tomorrow morning. Honestly, this is one of my favorite national shows. I've done this before and it just runs so smoothly. I like the atmosphere. It's such a great place. It just, it's just comfortable. So that's why I, this is my favorite national show. <laughs> Very cool. This is my first national show here. I've done uh, Universe before, but I've heard a lot of good things about the Pittsburgh uh, show and that it's really well run. Uh, it's a great show. So I wanted to give it a shot and see you know, how I liked it. And so far it's great. And awesome. the city's beautiful. I love this city. It is. You've got like hundreds of bridges and rivers everywhere, tunnels. You've got these lifts. You guys have got to go on the lifts. Mount we're Washington. Going to look out. Yeah, that's where we're yeah, going. Yeah, really, really <laughs> nice. Really, really nice. So uh, talk to us about who you worked with to get ready for this competition. I'm with Team ProPhysique, Paul Ravella. He's out of Florida. He's been absolutely amazing. I work with him online, but literally it's been the best experience I've had so far with the coach. <laughs> And I, you know, I tell people that too because a lot of times people are like, I have to work with a coach in person. You really don't. No. As long as the coach is accessible, <laughs> you can ask him questions or ask her questions. As long as they're good about that, you know, you've got Skype. There's a bunch of things, so you don't necessarily have to have a coach in real time in person. Uh, so I'm working with Anthony Tedesco from Team Antibiotics. He also is competing uh, on Saturday in bodybuilding. So um, excited to see how he does as well. It's um, my I just started eight weeks with him, with him. Um, mm -hmm. and so far it's been great. I love him. He, he's also online since he's in Connecticut, um, but he's so great. He will get back to you like that. So Very cool. Wonderful. So if you guys had to say, like we're on this whole contest prep topic, if you guys had to say, like you know, like the hardest part, you know, contest prep is really interesting because you got, you know, you got to find a suit, and you know, if you guys got hair and makeup and that kind of thing, but then there's also dieting and training and supplementation. For each of you, what was the toughest part? Prob, honestly, mm -hmm. I've been competing now for this is my third year, so probably just the middle of prep. Because when you're first starting, you're like so excited and you're like, "This is fine," and then you hit the middle and you're like, so far away. You're just like, it gets really hard to just stay on track when you get towards the middle. But then towards the end, it's just like you're so laser focused. So like, for me, honestly, like I love this sport so much that it's just. I love everything about the dieting part. It's just the middle gets hard because you're like, I've been doing this for so long, but I'm still so far away. Kind of. Does that make sense? You know, yeah, it makes sense. And like, you know, there's two questions. I don't like to do canned questions, but in, you know, in this, you know, sort of uh, type of media, like, you know, who or what inspired you to compete and also toughest part of your prep are like the two most basic questions, yeah. but I always get a different answer. And I have to say, I've never heard someone say the middle of the prep is the hardest. Really? Yeah, and, and, and it, it actually makes sense because yeah. at the beginning, yeah, you're super going, ho. Oh, at the end, you got the tunnel vision, but in the middle, it's like, what? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then for you, what was the toughest part for you? And it's okay if, for you know, don't feel pressure like she's <laughs> gonna upstage you or anything like that. You know, I'm sure your answer's gonna be just as awesome. So uh, for me, this prep was uh, a little bit challenging because I switched coaches after universe. Mm. So I only had like eight weeks to try to prep with my new coach. So it was just trying to figure out my body, uh, try to repair some uh, like metabolic damage I had. Yeah. Um, so that was probably pretty much uh, a little bit challenging for us, but it looks like, you know, we got everything together. We learned my body really well. So then we start, it started cooking, you know? So. And that's definitely, you know, honestly, uh, that's tough to go from coach to coach. I mean, from, you know, you know, you're, you're like still like seeing how your body responds. You're seeing how that coach is with you. Mm -hmm. And metabolic damage, a lot of people think is a myth. I don't think so. I think it's actually, you have a lot of uh, quote unquote coaches out there that shouldn't be coaching and they are actually harming their clients, which is sad. So metabolic damage most certainly exists, I believe. Okay, finally, social media, where can friends and fans go to save the day with you? Kim Martin, five, five, five. Come very, follow me. I post simple. every workout. <laughs> Great. Right. Mine's a little bit harder, so it's at E-L-L-E-E-E -E 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 underscore Marie E-E, -E, so it's El Marie, but with three E's on the end of them. It's okay. They'll rewatch us like 20 times. If, if they want to follow you there. you will yeah. find her. So. There you go. Perfect. Thank you very much, ladies. Good luck tomorrow. Oh, she was going to shake my hand. Hold on. Hold on. That's polite. Thank you. There you go. Very good. You want to you wanna shake also? Very good. All right. Good stuff. Congratulations uh, and on being here, which is a great show. And most definitely, good luck tomorrow here at Gary Udit's 2018 MPC North American Championships.